Welcome back to DT Daily. I'm Casey Montoya. Kicking off this week's tech news, Microsoft sells out to Comcast. Amazon may have to charge sales tax. Sony's NXT series phones come to the U.S. Sprint launches its 4G LTE wireless network and more. After 16 years on the web, MSNBC.com will soon be no more. This weekend, NBC announced Microsoft will sell its 50% stake in the news website to NBC's parent company, Comcast. The primary change for Internet users is that MSNBC.com will now be called NBCNews.com. Microsoft, which reportedly sold its half of the website for about $300 million, will continue to hold on to its 18% stake of the cable television channel, MSNBC, at least for now. Buying products on Amazon may soon get a bit more expensive. The online retail giant has long been able to avoid charging customers sales tax, but a group of Republican governors who once supported Amazon's ability to waive the tax have flipped their position as they face greater pressure to bring revenue into their states. Some estimates say charging tax on Amazon purchases could generate a total of about $23 billion a year for cash-strapped states. In handset news today, AT&T halved the price of Nokia Lumia 900 to $50 over the weekend. This as it introduces a new $100 phone, the Motorola Atrix HD, which is now available nationwide. The Atrix HD manages to pack in every feature of a high-end Android phone you might want, but at half the price of its competitors. And for those willing to shell out the money for an unlocked phone, Sony has launched the Xperia S, Xperia P, and Xperia U phones in the United States. All three phones are somewhat similar, differing mostly in size, though the Xperia P did impress us with a white magic screen capable of producing enough light to be seen on bright sunny days. The Xperia U also has a clear band across it that glows in many colors like a jukebox. The three phones range from $300 to $560 and work on AT&T and T-Mobile's networks. A new study has shown that TV's impact on children may be measurable. The study found that each hour of TV a 29-month-old child watches per week corresponds with a decrease of a third a centimeter in the distance the child is able to jump. The study showed that on average, two-year-old kids watch about nine hours of TV per week. But as they age, that number increases dramatically to 18 hours by the time they're four and a half. Kids who watch this much TV end up adding about eight millimeters to their waist by the time they're 10 years old. Moral of the story, make your kids go outside. Fans of Thomas Jane's 2004 Punisher film will be happy to see that Jane has returned to the role. Teaming with Ron Perlman and director Phil Janu, Jane created and released a 10-minute fan film of what he wished a Punisher movie would be like if he had his way. Jane says he created the film, which has Frank Castle sporting a bottle of Jack Daniels and a serious amount of violence, as a tribute to the comic franchise he's a fan of. The movie can be seen on YouTube. In its race to compete with Verizon and AT&T, Sprint has finally switched on its 4G LTE network. The high-speed wireless service is now available in 15 cities across the southern United States, including Atlanta, Dallas, Houston, and Kansas City, among others in those regions. Sprint says it will make more 4G LTE available in the cities this year, with a rollout expected to be complete by the end of 2013. That's it for this edition of DT Daily. Check back with Digital Trends later today for full coverage of Microsoft's Office 15 announcement, the next big version of its productivity suite designed to compete with new challenger like Google Docs.